Hello my dear friends welcome to English easy learn today in this video we are going to learn about look at you will find out what is it about David is a good boy David studies 10th standard David behaves good in the school David works hard to improve do you understand what it is yes you are able to understand but it looks something different and the sound something and being repeated so what shall we do to correct it let me read it david is a good boy david is a good boy david what kind of um may whether it is a masculine or feminine yes you are right so david is a man boy male so what can we do here david is a good boy instead of being repeated so we can cut off this david we are able to use here he he studies 10th standard again here it is being repeated we can cut off we will be able to use he he behaves good in the school and here david works hard to improve so he so david is a good boy he studies 10th standard he behaves good in the school he works hard to improve do you understand what it is a word which replaces noun or a word which is used instead of a noun is called pronoun so this is the topic we are discussing that is pronoun pronoun is a word which is used to the repeated noun the repeated noun so to change that we use this pronoun so he he studies i hope you understand very good now let us see what are there in the pronoun Yeah, friends please look at here in the pronoun it is divided into like this you see first person second person third person what is this first person first person the per person who speaks that's me i am talking now so that is the first person i like cake i love to watch nature i am in i am interested in watching movies so that is a i the speaking person so that is the first person singular it is the first person plural we we always includes me with the group it may be more than 2 or 100 10 whatever it may be so we are going to cinema tonight so we are means it includes me too that is the first person plural so next is second person second person whom i am talking to you that is you i am talking do you do you understand you are my subscriber so you are you are my friend you are my colleague you are my relatives so whom i am talking directly to second person that is called here second person singular and plural you is yes, we don't have a separate form in english it's only you you it means singular only one person you it means a wide range of maybe many more than 2 or 10 100 it may be you are all good students you are good students you are my relatives when i say it does not mean only one you are my students when i say the number of students sitting in the classroom they all mean you you must complete your homework so that i mean for everybody for all the students that is you it stands as a singular and as a plural next third person singular third person singular that is he she it he it indicates male person john robert ramu 
Morgan, Muhammad. So, what all the male, including animals, we use he when it is only one. Next, she. She we use for feminine, female. Ramya, Julie, Mary. So, these all for the women names, the girls' names, we use including animals, she. It is used for like inanimate and as well as for animals. So, it like a dog. Dog we use for all kind of animals we use. And also we use the table, chair, fan, uh, house or building. Whatever it may be. We use when it is only one. It is, it is used. So, next. They. They is a plural for all this. Male, a group of. When you say teacher. Teachers, they, they are all in meeting. So, they are in meeting. So, they means more in number, which is not close, far away. Children are playing in the ground. So, when I say children are playing, I don't include myself. If I include myself, it goes to we. So, when I say they are playing in the ground, so that I mean the children are playing in the ground. So, that is they. Monkeys are jumping over the tree. When I say monkeys are jumping over the tree, they are jumping over the tree. So, I mean more in number, far away from me, that is they. You understand? Very good. Next. So, these are all used as a subjective, same it is used. So, when I am making a sentence, when it stands in the speaking part, that is I, we, you, he, she, it, they, they all stand as a subjective. Objective, when I tell she gave to me, me is the objective personal pronoun, me. She gave to me, that is the objective, that is me. So, when I say for the objective we, us, they gave to us. So, that is the objective. You stands same in the objective also. They gave to you. Where is it? So, that is you, it stands as it is. And for the he, she, it. So, look at here. For the objective, so, they gave to him, but he lost it. So, it comes him. It's given to her and it. So, um, the mother fed it, the dog. So, and uh, they, them. Um, I gave to them. I don't know. So, it's them. So, this is the personal pronoun. These are all called it. Personal pronoun. So, how we use in the day to day, if we are very much aware of it, we will not make a mistake. So, here I, so I, you, he, she, it, and they, it's a plural. So, they are all called the personal pronoun. We use them in the proper order and properly for making sentences. Without this, making a sentence, English sentence is very difficult. I hope. You understood. If do not understand or if you find any difficulty, please come and me. Definitely I will take once again in a different way. Thank you for watching.